Greetings YouTube friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We have been tagged by Living Faith Homestead to um, do a Christmas memory past. So some memories of the past um, that we would like to share with you. Um, so with a large family, you can about imagine how many memories we have, ones that we are still making. <laughs> Uh, there are so many that I could share with you, but I'm going to narrow it down to just a few. Um, it's hard to think back to um, some that were more special than others because they are all so very special. But there was um, one in particular, we belonged to a homeschooling group when um, our older three uh, were younger. And um, even then as the, the little guys came along, uh, they were part of that group as well. Well they used to put on a Christmas program for us each year, just the kiddos, and it was absolutely adorable. They would dress up as Mary and Jesus, and our little ones would, um, Mary and Joseph, and then our little ones would end up being baby Jesus. As, <laughs> as the years went on, we always had a little, a little boy, uh, because we had five in a row, so uh, each of the little guys took play, took turn playing baby Jesus and it was just so so very special seeing um, our daughters dress up as Mary and then our oldest son would be Joseph and um, then the little guys were baby Jesus and then some of them would be the sheep and the donkeys and it was so adorable and they would do this every single year um, we would get together at either our home or our friends and it just blessed my heart so much it just um, is something that I still remember that was one that was very, very special to us. Uh, but there were so many. There were fun ones that were so funny. There was one when our son Devin, who is our oldest son, um, this is when Grandpa Morris was still alive. Our six younger children never got to meet Grandpa Morris. He passed away before um, they got to meet him. But our three older children got to meet him. And he was such a character. I remember when Devin, our oldest son, was probably about two or three years old. We went over there for Christmas, and he was sitting on Grandpa Morris's lap by the Christmas tree. And he was looking at Grandpa in the face, and all of a sudden, Grandpa did something where he hit his stomach and his teeth fell out. <laughs> you could about imagine what a two-year-old would do. He saw Grandpa's teeth fly out, and he went screaming. And then I could see him sitting in the corner, hitting his tummy and checking to see if his teeth were gonna fall out. And he kept hitting his tummy to see if his teeth would fall out. He did this forever. It was just so, so funny. That was a special memory that was with Grandpa Morris with our son, Devin. And when Devin was a baby, he was born in September. He's the only one that was born close to Christmas. Um, we had Brittany, our oldest daughter, and they're 16 months apart. Well, she was always one that spoke really early and she spoke for Devin. Well, when Devin was just a baby, he was under the Christmas tree. She had placed his little seat. She pushed it over there and put him under the Christmas tree and he was her Christmas present. And she sang Christmas songs to him. And I just remember how precious that was. He was in a little Christmas uh, pajama sitting under the tree. It was the perfect Christmas present that we could have asked for. And she was singing Christmas songs to him. That was another special memory. I have so many um, that I could share. Um, but I'm just going to just give you a little brief, um, you know, story of each well, not each one because we'd be here forever, but just a few more that uh, that we do. We do a candlelight um, service with our children every um, every Christmas. We go to church and we do a candlelight service, which on Christmas Eve, which is absolutely so precious. Um, we have done that for many many years, and I just love that that we all get together and we spend that time reflecting. Also. Um, we do a special Christmas Eve dinner. My husband started this many, many years ago when our children, our first children were very little. Um, he felt that I was gonna be so busy, you know, preparing Christmas that we go out for Chinese food, which sounds funny, <laughs> probably gonna laugh, but he takes the whole family out for Chinese on Christmas Eve. That gives mommy a break um, because the next day is gonna be very, very busy. And we have always done that. And it's so special because our children so look forward to spending 
having that time together um, and it gives me a break um, but that's something that we have done um, forever and um, I have to tell you about our very first Christmas this was so funny we my husband and I both worked of course in corporate America I was working at a um, insurance company and he worked at the bank as a supervisor and um, we had a little gray cat named Preppy and we lived in an apartment complex in California and we came home after uh, a long day at work and we had our Christmas tree all decorated and we had this little kitten that stayed at home <laughs> well we walked in the tr in the in the house and lo and behold the Christmas tree was on the floor and every single one of the ornaments had been you know batted across the apartment they were absolutely everywhere and this was a live tree Needless to say, that tree had seen better days and we pretty much needed a new tree. But that was a funny memory, I have to say. That little kitten was just, had a, had a great day, you know. So we knew that after that we could not let him um, just roam. He had to be <laughs> in a cage because he tended to destroy everything in his sight. And But that was that was really, really funny coming home. I shouldn't say it was funny at the time because we were tired and you know the house was a complete disaster area but it was funny looking back at it now another thing that we have done for many many years of course we don't do that anymore but when our children were all young and at home um, we have a stairway that goes upstairs and my husband started this when they were younger he'd have them all line up the youngest at the bottom and all the way up the stairs and you know with nine children that's quite a few stairs and they were all dressed in matching pajamas and they would come down one at a time Christmas morning and it was just so special we would first have our special breakfast casserole and our blueberry muffins or our penitone um, together as a family and then we would sit down and we would start opening gifts and the way we do it is we open one gift at a time usually the youngest to the oldest and we will watch that child open their gift and just be so excited with them as they open their present and you know what it was it's so wonderful to do it that way it made it a full day for us not where we all just came together and everybody just a free-for-all ripping the gifts open we made it very very special because it is a special time you know we want to enjoy what each person got and be just as excited for them as they are and so we've always done it that way and therefore it does make for a very long day but we enjoy every minute of it I have to say that having a big family has just been such a tremendous blessing. We have so many memories, so many memories with each and every one of our children. And it just thrills my heart to, to be able to share a few of them with you. Um, let's see. Oh gosh, there are just so many. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and stop for now. Um, I do want to um, call out three other homesteads um, <clears throat> that I'm hoping will want to do this same little, um, you know, living or Christmas traditions past. Um, I'm going to call out Joyful Half Acre. That is a family, a large family as well. And I'm hoping that you will check them out. They do some great things with their kiddos. I love watching their little Advent um, celebration that they do with their children. It's it's wonderful to see uh, younger families raising their children in the admonition of the Lord and showing them the importance of Christmas. And then also Pathway Homestead. We love these people to death. They are good friends of ours. We have met them a few times and feel that we are so connected with them. I hope that you will check them out as well, Pathway Homestead. Um, Cindy and Gary Cargill and we love them. They are such sweet people. And um, then we're going to also call out Schick Happens. <laughs> Schick Happens. He is an awesome, funny guy. His videos are hilarious. Um, so uplifting. It's just a breath of fresh air just to see his funniness. It's also, it's kind of nice sometimes to just stop from the everyday thing and just laugh about certain things. And he is one that can really make you laugh. So we're going to call out those three and I hope that... Um, they will be willing to do this as well um, and I hope that you enjoyed you know um, hearing some of the funny things that that we do um, or have done I should say and some of the things that we still do um, and I hope that uh, you will be blessed this Christmas season 
and remember the memories that you have and the memories that you are making. Um, and if you like what you see, tell a friend. And until next time, or I should say, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell. And until next time, guys, God bless you.